Jeff Shaden, who's the general manager at Absolute Machining, as well as Vantage Point Archery. You notice the banner behind me. Uh, that will be expanding to include Vantage Point Armory. And what better way to really get that fired up and talk about pistol parts today. So Jeff, take it away. Tell us about what we're looking at today. Okay, so uh, identify a part in the firearms world that needed to have uh, some updates. So one of the things that I recognize, so I'm a huge DASA fan. I have bought many firearms and I kind of settled on DASA. And so I bought uh, Langdon 92 Elite and after I had that, I kind of needed something more compact, so I bought a compact carry. And after I bought that, and I loved it so much, I bought the full size. And uh, there seemed to be a lacking of accessories for this gun. And it is so, it's, it's such a great gun. And so there has to be, somebody has to do something. And so uh, we had the idea of using a frame mounted compensator uh, to help mitigate recoil. You see a lot of different businesses, PMM, uh, uh, Agency Arms, Radian, they all have compensators that have really like taken over the, the whole market. And so I thought that we had a great idea and I want to make it happen. Yeah. And, so, and, and what sets these apart is no thread of barrel. Really quick on these two, all of these guns are clear. There's no ammunition. It's a safe space. We're completely uh, clear here in a safe area. And um, I guess two things really quick. Um, as far as the compensator goes on the Berettas, you've been working with somebody that the viewers out there will definitely know here on the development. Yep, as of Tell today, yep. As of today uh, Ernest Langdon has roughly about 2,000 rounds, between 1,500 and 2,000 rounds through a, uh, a full-size uh, compensator. I, he has all the, all the different sizes here that were available. Uh, He's been using them, and I think the, the light bearing one is the one that we really want. We really think that we've hit a home run on. So, yeah. uh, so fill us in. Yep. Talk okay. Us. So, uh, one of the things about the industry is if you don't have a holster for what you're, you know, people accessorize their guns all the time, but if you don't have the holster for it, it's it really creates a, uh, 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 you don't want to, you don't want to buy it, really. Yeah. And so, uh, you take this unit, we have a patent pending on the, uh, I think you can, what do you want to call it? The uh, interface? Interface, yeah, that works. The interface between a Surefire X300A and the uh, frame of the gun. And so if you allow me to yeah, you do. While you're doing that, I'll yep. just ask a couple questions. So, yep, go ahead. the Surefire X300A is the initial light. Are you looking at expanding that down the road? Yep. As a matter of fact, we've got a design for a TLR nine or TLR seven. Sorry, Streamline TLR seven, and we're going to be coming out with that relatively soon, okay. like within the probably in the next few weeks. Nice. Yeah, and and as market demands, as uh, you know, the viewers out there. Um, in fact, let's just say this down in the comments below. Colors. These are going to come in different colors. What colors would you like to see? What light options would you like to see? Um, it's very dependent on what you, the consumer and the buyer, want. So this is the kickoff of this product, and uh, I'm excited to, to get to try it myself and um, uh, you know talk these specs. I'm kind of nerd out like that, but it's fun. It's gun stuff. So who doesn't? Yep. So the interface, Jeff, is just your your OEM screws. Yep. OEM screws, yep, six OEM screws. So to make sure you're using the universal uh, plastic, uh, uh, the locking system for the X300. And obviously an X300 fits a full-size gun. And so Very nice. there is a gap right here, so there is no interference. The one great thing about a uh, frame mount of compensator, and I think you can see this. There's a couple other businesses that I'm going to name drop. Is Wasatch Arms and Dark Hour? They both have frame mount compensators, and if you watch their videos, they're excellent. Like the amount of recoil mitigated is is very good. The one issue that I felt that we could kind of bridge that gap is one of the things about those compensators they're big, and you can't really fit them in a 
regular holster that you right. can buy off the yeah, we're talking holster fit show yes yeah. and so this is a filter flood light goes in with no issues and this is I, I use this myself mm -hmm. um, very nice yeah so the only thing right. you would have to make sure of is the construction like the filter is your light and the end of the holster is yep. the same sometimes like with a 19 I've seen they cut the holster way back so you yep. have to have maybe a 17 holster but then you could still use it yeah like exactly 18. That's yeah. correct. Yep. It, yeah. Sorry. So, like the uh, we have one for a Glock 19. It's it, it actually is the same length uh, with the light on it. It's the same length as a Glock 17. Yeah. So it should fit into a Glock 17 light brain holster, and you're ready to go. Right. So very nice. Very nice. I just is so seamless. It looks great. Yeah. So okay. Another advantage to this style of compensator is it also works as a standoff. So if yep. you have, for whatever whatever uh, situation you could be in, if you're up, pressed up against something, it's not going to take the pistol out of battery. Yep. That's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ernest, obviously, has, has talked about having no issues through a couple thousand yep. rounds with this. And from his opinion, have there is there a, a, a market difference in recoil? Is yeah, absolutely. The so far? Yep. And I can say from my own... Uh, experience there is quite a bit of difference we've been able to do some engineering on the compensator to actually help enhance it that other companies because of like most pistol compensators are threaded or threaded barrel and so you don't have as much real estate to do as much engineering to help kind of eject those gases out the top and so we have been able to kind of do that with this and it's made a huge difference we also have for you px4 guys that love 45, we also have a 45 uh, one that we've developed, and it it makes it not exactly a 9 millimeter, but it closer. is closer to a 9 millimeter. So it makes it usable, very usable, and controllable. And you do have your 45 guys out there. I won a couple World Wars, so I don't mind that. That's, that's right, exactly. It's a great round, uh, but so is a 9. But um, is there anything else as far as the tech specs go that you want to? Another advantage is one of the issues that you have with uh, uh, barrel mounted compensators is nobody wants to take them apart and clean the gun. And so if you put a couple thousand rounds or maybe a thousand rounds and you're like, I really need to clean it, you don't really want to take it off because it's timed and all that, uh, all that extra work that you have to put into it. Whereas here, you can just unlatch, make sure I do it right. Oop. The light uh, works. That's right, that works. And then you can take your uh, gun apart, feel strip it, put it back together, you're good to go. That's awesome. Yep. Very, very really cool product. Really cool. So, what else is coming down the pipe besides the compensator? Uh, kind of even thinking about right now with uh, Vantage Point yep. Armory. Yep. So, we are moving towards uh, uh, a Glock 17. So, I got a Glock 19 right now. We're moving towards a 17. We are also going to make one for the Archon Type D, which is going to be coming out here pretty soon. Uh, and then also incorporating, I think I mentioned earlier, a TLR-7. And so the one, uh, the one uh, pistol that we really want to use this for is just Beretta PX4 uh, Compact Carry. And we have, this is just a regular, just a frame-mounted compensator, but we're getting close to... Uh, developing the one with the TLR7. My, so, so if somebody didn't want to carry a light, and not everybody does, that's right. people like handhelds, you're going to have that option as well. So yep. that's, that's good to know. You don't have to have it uh, with a light interface. You can just go with the compensator directly to your pistols. So. Yep, and this also with a minor alteration with a heat gun, mm -hmm. you can get the, uh, a compact carry. This is developed to make it the same length as the slide for the, for the full size. And so you can just go ahead and make it a little bit of a modification that comes right in there. Which heat gun, guys do that all the time. I did it the other day with one. It's common. Yeah. Take heat gun or blow dryer, mold it the way you want it, yep. and make it fit perfect. So awesome. All right. Well, um, in closing, anything else that you want to add to it? Or have um, we covered everything? I think we covered pretty much everything. Okay. All so, right. Yep. So again, down below in the comments, uh, talk to us what lights you want to see, what other pistols maybe down the road you'd like to see added colors um any questions you may have 
uh, we'll be happy to get you an answer from the experts here. And uh, look for that. some range. Look for some range footage really soon with this compensator as well. I'm anxious to try it and uh, give you guys my feedback as well. So Jeff, thank you so much for the uh, insight, the tech specs, and the information on this. I'm excited to get it uh, get uh, get it on the range, and uh, I know you guys are too out there. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget hit those comments.